So we're going to discuss dynamic legends and property tests and type tests today as well as filters. So if we have a use case diagram here, and let's say we want to apply some dynamic adornments to this uh, where the included use cases have a different pen style or line. The extendeds do also. These exception use cases uh, will look a little different than the capabilities. I basically want to color code and change the look of all my elements. Um, so we're going to go ahead and set that up. And by the way, uh, when you have an extension, uh, extend relationship, you also can put conditionals on it. So that's something I discovered recently. So you can put a conditional on here. So we basically have two use cases triggered by uh, the extension point, this one and this one. But in this case, this one is only triggered when you're out of gas. And we put this exception stereotype on the extend relationship. So that's uh, just kind of an interesting way to handle that. So we're going to go back to the opaque behaviors that uh, I like to use a lot. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at how we're testing to see if something's included. So keep in mind that when you're an included use case, you are the target of an include relationship. And so we go to the body and language of the uh, opaque behavior. And we can go ahead. We've set it to structured expression. And if we look at this, we have a type test happening where we are going from a use case to the direct relationship of target. We are returning only those relationships that are includes. And then we are doing a type test to see if they are includes relationships. And so that's now a Boolean test that we're running that is only going to return a true if we have an includes relationship coming back. And so if we go to this generic table I've set up where the uh, column is basically just calling the opaque behavior I've created, you can see here that, um, oh, and notice I, I do want to point out that you want to set that to single value uh, and Boolean, uh, and that'll work just fine for us. We get the nice column here. Uh, and notice you can't double click it and change it because there's no way to do so. That's a, it's a passive or it's set by the property. but. Bottom line is it works just fine. So now we want to get the exception use cases and the extended. And the issue we have here is that we want to filter the exception use cases out. So an extended use case that has the stereotype only shows up once. We don't want it to show up as a true here. So let's go ahead and look at the extended logic first. Sorry, the exception logic first. So the exception logic says I want to take my meta chain here. I want the where the source of the extend relationship. So it's a use case, direct relationship of source, and then extend. And then we apply that as a property test. And we basically look for the applied stereotype of exception. And so that is what is allowing us to basically just get the ones where exception is true. Now, the extend ones, so we've seen just returning an element test or a type test here. We've done a filter on that to pull out just the ones where that stereotype is set. And now we're gonna... So let's talk about how we filter those out. And so what we've got here is a, a type test again where we're looking for the extend. So that's what sets the true or false. And the context of this is an exclude where we're excluding from all the use cases, the ones that are in this filter, where the input collection is again all of them, and the condition is that they're a property test where the applied stereotype is exception. So again, this is one of those cases where there's a lot of work that has to go on to make these chains work, but it still beats programming uh, in JavaScript or Bean shell, at least in my opinion, because I can think in these terms. So again, I encourage you to experiment with the structured expressions and give thought as to how you can make all these work. So you know, the type test returns the true false, because if you're an extend, we want it to be a true. We look at excluding, we exclude from the full set of all the extended ones, and we exclude the ones that meet the condition where the property test for the stereotype is true. And so when those all work, we now have this set of relationships where included use cases get a true, the extended and the exceptions all get a true. Now we can use these opaque behaviors as the basis for our dynamic legend. And so 
um, when we go ahead and pull this on here, you can see they all work uh, just fine. So what we've done is I've set up these uh, legend items, elements by condition, and I've come in here and I've just set it as a opaque behavior, I, I call it. So when, it, when you come in here, you just go to the create operation, operation from model, and you go ahead and you pick the, in this case, use cases extended. And when it operates on that, it uh, goes ahead and, and does this. So I've set it up with you know different color pens. You can change the text color, put icons on, little graphics, you name it. But these are all based on the set of opaque behaviors I've created. So again, here's another case where you know a few experts can craft these dynamic legends, these opaque behaviors, put them in a library, and make them available to all of the modelers in your organization. So I hope that gives you a taste of what's possible with filtering, type testing, and uh, you know meta chain usage in case of setting up conditional legends, dynamic legends. Keep in mind that you can also apply this to paths, so you could test for um, you know, a connector that ends at a hydraulic interface block. You could, you know, color code these all based on um, the element types uh, at the ends, the type of the uh, the proxy ports, for example. Uh, you could use this for, um, you know, quite a few other things as well, you know, based on enumerations, that if the enumeration's a high risk, say you would turn it red, that type of thing. So the sky's the limit with dynamic legends, and I hope that uh, this inspires you to go ahead and experiment with them in, on, on your own projects. Thanks, and have a great day.